you this morning? You good? You are? Oh, brilliant. Do you know what today is? Do you know what today is? It's my birthday. Hey guys, so today is my birthday and Jason's actually taken me out and we're going to somewhere where we've wanted to go. Don't lie. We've actually come somewhere we wanted to come for absolutely ages but never had the opportunity to do it. But today we've broke up the day off. So we've decided to come here and this place is huge. So guys, as you can see, we're near a very busy road in the middle of Manchester. I say in the middle of Manchester, not too far from the traffic centre. And we have come to this place right here behind me called Total Ninja. Everything you see along here, so from that back wall right there, all the way along there, is all this place. It is massive. Oh my God, it's all in Japanese. Anata, Anata something, Anata Shiro. I think that's Shiro, because that looks like the symbol for white. Oh, something, key, something to, I have no idea what that is.
say it, just game. Go, go, go. finished a total ninja and we didn't actually get to film all of it because my phone is really really low on battery life and memory life more than anything right now so unfortunately we didn't get to film every single obstacle jason was a proper little ninja he conquered almost every single obstacle couldn't do two no it, there's two there was two he couldn't do you could easily be on ninja warrior can't do two of them well, you could, you could potentially be a competitor. The only, I'd have to admit, I was very proud of myself, um, especially on those rolling logs. I was terrified. And I mean, genuinely terrified. I was up there for nearly 10 minutes, just finding the confidence to physically go across them. But, like I, patch, <laughs> but I did it, I physically did it. I got across, I took that first step. It was terrifying. I did actually injure my knee on one of the attempts, but I did it, I did, I did injure my knee. That was painful. Keep on pain. 
Okay. Yes, I did. I did. I I hurt. It hurt a lot. <laughs> but yes, I, after I actually finished videoing us attempting the courses, then we actually just went back and did our favourite obstacles or did obstacles that we wanted to try and conquer or try and get over. I spent a lot of time on those rolling logs and on the long rolling log and on the four rolling logs trying to build up my confidence, trying to build up, trying to get over my fear of them more than anything, my fear of falling over them. And one I actually did very, very, very right at the start was the quintuple steps, except it wasn't quintuple steps, it was more, more like triple steps. And basically I was really struggling again with confidence of falling and injuring myself. So I spent the last 10 minutes of our session trying to conquer that fear and I did it by the end of that 10 minutes. At the start of the 10 minutes, I still could only put my foot on the first green post. By the first two minutes, I was putting my foot on the second green post. By the fifth minute, I think in fact, no, it was longer than the fifth minute, about the sixth, about the sixth minute, I finally got my foot on the blue post. And then by the end of it, I actually managed to complete it and actually get onto the ledge on the other side three times. I was so, so proud of myself. I was so happy. Hey guys, so as you can see, we are currently back home. I currently have a certain assistant with me today. As usual, we're back from Total Ninja now and I wanted to give you guys a bit more of a heads up about what it was like. It was freaking amazing. It was absolutely amazing. It's like there wasn't that many obstacles. It's like there was there was a lot of obstacles. There was a hell of a lot of obstacles and there was like a double run of every obstacle so you could like race your friends and stuff like that. So me and Jason had a race over one of the courses. He beat me by a mile. The staff there were really fantastic. They were really motivating, really encouraging. They kept on saying, come on, you can do it. Just give it another go. They were really, really good they really made you feel like you could power through it and I learned a lot about myself as well while I was there which I know sounds a bit stupid but I did I learned a lot about myself I've learned that my fear of falling and hurting myself is a lot stronger than I thought it was I struggled especially on the rolling logs I seriously struggled I was frozen with fear for quite a while at least five or ten minutes before I finally got the confidence to take that first step onto the rolling log in the first place and then with other obstacles like the quintuple steps I was I say quintuple steps I was not doing the I refused to go on the advanced course I stayed on the beginner course and medium course and the quintuple steps were difficult and again it was a confidence thing I just didn't have the confidence that I could do step 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 but I did it by the end of the course. I'd physically done it. I spent literally 10 minutes straight over 10. I must have been at least 15 minutes actually straight just on the steps trying to build my confidence up. And I did it. I was also working on my rolling logs and working on my balance because my upper body strength was gone and my grip strength was gone. There were so many upper body exercises and grip strength exercises. It was literally like being at a Ninja Warrior course, it was so amazing. And they had a beginner level, a media level, a hard level, they had a pro level, they had a kids area, they had an awesome restaurant upstairs. We had so much fun. We had so, so much fun. And in all honesty, we were desperate to go again. When we left, like we took about an hour to calm down, an hour to relax, have something to eat. We were desperate, we're still desperate to go back. I wanna go back there now, and we just can't afford it. But we've actually made a decision. We're actually going to quit the gym that we go to because the gym that we go to is like £60 a month each, which is a ridiculous amount of money for a gym that we're not going. We're not actually going to the gym at all. We've been doing, especially since I started this type of this challenge, I've been doing 90% of my exercise at home. I think I've gone to the gym once in three months-ish. And it doesn't help having Jag at home because I'm conscious about leaving him on his own, etc, etc. So I think what we're going to do is cancel the gym membership and then the money that we save by cancelling the gym membership, we're actually going to use to go to Total Ninja at least twice a month to see our progress. So I now know what I can do the quintuple steps. That's something I conquered today. I'm getting better at my balance on the rolling blog. So that's something I really need to work on. But something I seriously learned I need to work on is my upper body and my grip strength. And I know for a fact that my weight, like this thing here, is a serious hindrance to that. I've got a lot of excess body fat. I've got at least 10 kilograms worth of excess body fat dotted around my body. And I know it's a very big hindrance to my training, so I really need to focus. So with today being my birthday, I'm actually taking today as my start day to seriously turn my life around. And I mean seriously turn my life around. I've spoken in vlogs, or vlogs that technically haven't come out yet, that I want to actually become a serious obstacle course race competitor. I want to be an athlete and I want to be able to do Ninja Warrior one day. And going there today really didn't help the motivation 
it did the complete opposite it shot it through the roof i'm desperate to do that again i loved it i want to be able to go in there and do one of those courses from start to finish and smash it and i mean smash it i want to go in on the beginner's course and just soar through it i want to go into the immediate intermediate course and smash through it i want to be able to actually at least start the advanced course and then work my way up to the pro level that's what i want to do that is my goal right now and that is my dream and i will do it i am going to hopefully achieve it by the end of this year that's my goal for achieve achievement that's a long-term goal right now for me but yeah i can't wait to go back guys it was so much fun and it's just made me want to be an obstacle course race competitor be a ninja warrior so much more jason on the other hand is already a fucking ninja warrior there was only two obstacles two out of the beginner medium and advanced courses there's only two obstacles on the entire damn thing that he couldn't do that he couldn't master i'm like what this, the guy's a super ninja i swear to god he could easily go onto ninja warrior and probably be a decent competitor on there he did all three warp walls he did everything else it's like he could even probably take on the pro area and probably give it a bloody good shot he wants to actually work on a bit better before we hit the pro course i want to be able to at least get through the medium one before i even consider attacking the pro course that ain't happening anytime soon but it has just motivated me so much more to actually do this as proper competitive thing i i loved it so much it felt so good i felt amazing i felt athletic i felt like a ninja it was actually really really cool but anyway guys that is pretty much all we've done for my birthday we've actually just spent about two hours at jason's mum's house spending time with some her did get a few presents off them which was really nice and really sweet i actually wasn't expecting to get any presents after the amount of money we've lent our family this year so i was very very shocked and very grateful for that in all honesty the rest of the day we are just going to spend with jag we're going to take him out on a walk we're going to enjoy sankey valley park and just spend the rest of the day together so jason just had his shower i'm going to go get mine now before we walk jag and then we're just going to take the rest of the day to chill so i'm going to end this video here guys i just wanted to show you what we were doing today like the whole ninja thing which was amazing and yeah i hope you all have a wonderful day wonderful weekend or anything else you are doing this week or today weekend everything so yeah i will see you all again hopefully very soon